out of YouTube. It says Tucson Piper here. Uh, just want to ramble a little bit. A little housekeeping. Um, smoking a Road Town HS Studios Square Shank Bulldog Bent Briar Pipe. <clears throat> and in it, I have uh, Dunhill Nightcap from 2014. Went to my uh, local brick and mortar yesterday to see what they had in the back. And they produced this. And also, along with this, they produced some early morning pipe. So I bought all of it that they had. I like to use a uh, Zippo, the pipe Zippo. And everybody has their own preference for lighters. Jeez. When I got this, it was incredibly dry. I think the uh, seal failed inside of the, you know, the tin. But whatever. You can rehydrate the back, though. No big deal. So I want to talk about how I started smoking a pipe, why I got into it. See, I've always been really against cigarettes, always, my entire life. You know, uh, it was always a rule for me that if you were a smoker, I wouldn't date you, I wouldn't have anything to do with you um, on a romantic level. So I spent all, basically all of my life against tobacco. And uh, I started realizing a little while ago, about a year and a half ago, that uh, not a lot of men left in society, at least not in this current generation, you know, the millennials. This isn't a bash on millennials. It's, I mean, you can only emulate what you've seen and uh, by and large uh, well there's not a lot of fathers in the home any longer so because there's not a lot, a lot of fathers in the home not a lot of males know how to be men I grew up without a father myself and uh, I made it my mission to essentially become the manliest individual that I could. So I took up blacksmithing. I am a woodworker. I have an entire wood shop and a full smithy. Um, my day job, or night job rather, is, uh, well I'm not gonna say what it is, but it's an extremely manly field. <sighs> Pretty much everything that I do revolves around me keeping the image of a man alive. Um, I cook for my wife. I, you know, I, I care for my, for my child. I do everything that a man is supposed to do and be called a man. So I was perusing the internet, YouTube, about, well, it was like January, right after my daughter was born. She was born in December, so she's currently eight months old. And uh, I came across the Sultan of Silver. I'm sure if you guys are in the pipe community, you know exactly who I'm talking about. And he was doing a review on Peterson's Perfect Plug. Uh, I liked the way he presented himself, and the topic was something that I really didn't have any interest in whatsoever. I'd never considered 
smoking a pipe for a hobby or uh, just getting into it. I, I knew nothing about it. But the image that he put off, that was uh, very impressive to me. So I did more research and I found Button Chop Piper. I found Derek Tant. Uh, I found Stogie Farts. I found all of these people who smoke pipes. I started doing a lot of thinking about it. So I went on smokingpipes.com and I ordered three tobaccos. I ordered Lane Limited 1Q. I ordered, uh, oh sorry, I ordered four tobaccos. I ordered Lane Limited 1Q. I ordered, uh, I ordered Dunhill My Mixture 965, both in bulk and in tin. I ordered a bulk order, the only order of, uh, the only way to order, I should say of um, Peter Stokeby's Navy Flake, Luxury Navy Flake, and I ordered Peterson's Perfect Plug. Now, as most of you know, um, Peterson's Perfect Plug is not the easiest to smoke. It's not very popular amongst a lot of people. Uh, it has a very rubbery aftertaste. Um, Peter Stokeby's Luxury Navy Flake is a, a, an amazing Virginia. I think it's a Virginia Perique. Uh, I like that one a lot. Uh, my Mixture 965, I actually, so I, I purchased it, and I didn't touch it because of the way that it smelled. You know, it's, a, it's an English blend. I did not touch it until, oh, geez, I don't know, about four months ago, three months ago, something like that. And I wasn't a big fan of that either. I, I don't I don't like my mixture nine sixty five. And then Lane Limited One Q. I smelled that I fell in love. Um, and I I began smoking. I would smoke predominantly Lane Limited. I'd smoke it on the way to work. Um, I'd smoke it at home. I would I continued to purchase more and more tobaccos off of uh, Button Chop Piper's list. So I purchased Maltese Falcon. I purchased uh, Lane Limited Ready Rub. Jeez, uh, I purchased a lot of different tobaccos, and I realized that most of them were English blends. I didn't know they were English blends. I didn't even know what an English blend was. I just knew what the smell was. I knew that uh, my mixture 965 didn't smell very good. That's all I knew. So I was very hesitant to try them. Uh, I tried. Maltese Falcon in, I believe, March or April for the first time, and I, oh, I loved it. It was amazing. Um, but by that time, I had, I had a lot going on in my personal life, so a lot of stuff had to be put on the back burner, and pipe smoking was one of them. I had really, I hadn't even broken in a pipe fully at that time. Um, I was using corn cobs, Missouri Meerschaum, factory seconds. I would say it took me from about April to about June to really start getting into smoking a pipe every day. Um, and yeah, uh, a lot of my hesitation towards smoking a pipe had to do with my wife. She didn't like the fact that I wanted to get into smoking a pipe. She didn't understand my reasoning either. She uh, doesn't necessarily understand the importance of having not only a man in the house, but having a masculine presenting man, a man who is a man in all aspects, not just what he has dangling or not dangling between his legs. Like, you can't just be a man in, in you know, genetics. You have to be a man in image. Um, you have to stand up for what you believe in you have to provide for your family you have to you know help your friends when they need it even if it inconveniences you you know there's a lot of things that goes into 
being a man beyond just how you were genetically put together. Sorry, I need to take a drink of water. Anyways, I learned my lesson. Um, don't buy an English blend right off the bat. The one thing that saved me was the fact that I I did buy Lane Limited 1Q. I bought four ounces of it at the beginning. And uh, yeah, it took me about six months to finish it because of how rarely I would smoke it. I bounce around to a bunch of a uh, bunch of Virginia blends. Pretty much, I bought basically everything that was on Mutton Chop Hyper's 2016 and 2017 uh, blend club list. And uh, yeah, I pretty much felt about the same way as he did towards those the the New Minster uh, Superior Round slices. I did not like that at all. That is way too much Perique for me. Uh, so I'll, I'll probably sit on that for the next, oh god, I don't know, next eight months before I start trying to smoke that again. But as a new pipe smoker, I would highly recommend starting with Lane Limited. Lane Limited would be my number one, um, my number one recommendation for anybody who's getting into pipe smoking but doesn't know where to start. Lane Limited 1Q. Um, there are others that you can try. You can try uh, Hearth and Home Chatham Manor. That's a good one as well. I find that uh, it it doesn't really bite, but it has I don't know. It has a tendency for me to be I don't even know how to describe it. It kind of like dries my tongue out. Uh, I'm, I'm sure some of you know what I'm trying to say. If you do, please um, let me know like in the comments. Go ahead and tell me what I'm what I'm missing here. Um, but yeah, Lane Limited 1Q. That would be where you guys should start as brand new pipe smokers that don't know where to go, don't know what pipe tobacco to try first. I would stay away from Captain Black and... Um, Sir Walter Raleigh and all those like just start with Lane Limited 1Q and then slowly move into English blends as you feel that you are uh, a little bit more open to your you know expanding your palate. Don't expect to know what you're doing right off the bat. I was lucky or you you guys are lucky. We're all lucky that we have great people on the internet uh, as I've already mentioned. Um so yeah, Lane Limited 1Q. That's the blend that kept me smoking a pipe. <laughs> I now own about five or six pounds of it right now, just chilling. Uh, it keeps going on sale, so I keep buying it. It's a, it's a sickness, buying more and more tobaccos. I think I maintain about 40 blends right now, but Lane Limited 1Q I own the most of. So, yeah, I would say... Like I said before, I'll say it again. I'll say it a, a hundred more times. Lane Limited 1Q. Start there. Start there and you will not be disappointed, I promise. So, this is Tucson Piper. Until next time.